Allora, in questo video parliamo di sogni lucidi. You're probably thinking, why is he talking in Italian? Well, that is a perfect time to do a reality check. Now, why would you do a reality check when that happens? Because it's different to what normally happens, right? So normally, obviously, I speak in English. And uh, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you will know that I mainly, if not always, speak in English. So when I started the video speaking in Italian, of course, that, because it's different and unusual to what you normally experience, is when you should have done a reality check. And so in this video, I just want to talk about sort of triggers, I guess. And <clears throat> I guess um, I guess I want to talk about the main ways or times when you would want to do a reality check and why it's important to focus not only on doing reality checks at certain times, like, you know, every hour, every two hours, you know, randomly throughout the day, but also uh, it's important to focus on doing reality checks when you experience something unusual, right? And that can be literally anything. It can be something that you've not seen before. Uh, maybe if you're in a new place, it can be something you've not heard before, something you've not felt before, or, you know, just something that you have maybe have experienced before, but you don't often experience it. Something that's unusual or rare. A good example of this is, let's say you're walking down the street and there's suddenly a, a guy in a bee costume, right? He's dressed up as a massive bee. Like, maybe he's a mascot, maybe he's... Uh, I don't know, maybe he's promoting something. You know, you've seen these guys that sort of like flip signs and do all these tricks. Um, and the reason they do that is to get is to catch people's attention, to get them to come and, you know, go into that business and buy something, whatever it is, you know, whether it's pizza, whatever, right? These mascots. So the other day I was walking, you know, through town and I saw one of these mascots in a bee costume. And uh, as I went near him, he sort of said, hey, how's it going and stuff, trying to, you know, get my attention. Um, and uh, I was, you know, walking around the area and I heard him, go, you know, rattle out these bee puns. They were quite funny. But what happened is I did a reality check. And the reason for that is because I don't often see a guy dressed in a bee costume. You know, it's, it's quite rare. You know, that's not something that happens all the time. Uh, so it was a perfect time to do a reality check. And what that does is it means that when you experience something unusual in a dream, which, of course, most of them are, right? You know, typically, when you have a dream, it's filled with these unusual weird or you know unnatural events and experiences so if you get used to doing a reality check every time something unusual happens you will eventually i say eventually it'll happen sooner rather than later you'll eventually catch yourself out and and become lucid uh, i guess you could say randomly spontaneously and that is why uh as i was developing my lucid dreaming app i i discovered that the best thing to do for the reality check reminders was to have them go off at random. Not just every hour, not just every two hours, but indeed at random. And what that means is, because like it's, it's all well and good doing a reality check every hour. That's, that's gonna probably work to some degree. But when you have re random reality checks, it's much more effective. You know, you're, tr you're sort of training and preparing your subconscious mind to, to be able to question your reality at any time, not just the expected on the hour, on the every, on two hours, you know, these routine reminders. After a while, you know, fairly quickly actually, after a few days, your subconscious mind will start to expect these reminders and they won't be as effective. So what am I saying? Obviously this is quite a, uh, a vague video uh, in terms of reality checks. I'm not really giving you a specific answer, but I think th the important thing to remember with reality checks is not just to do them at specific intervals, right? If you get used to doing them every hour, you'll get used to it. You'll, they won't be as effective. So really, all you want to do going forward, all you need to do is to have a random reality check reminder, right? And again, my, my app that I've developed can do that for you. It can give you a random, up to 60 random reminders every day. Uh, and you can find that on the iPhone store just by typing in how to lucid and you'll, you'll see the little logo with the, the eye, with the black and gray uh, synapses around the eye. That will do random reality check reminders, or you can just set, you know, there's, uh, I think there are other apps that can do the same thing. If you've got an Android phone, I'm pretty sure there are some lucid dreaming apps that can do that. So do that, right? Set ra random reality check reminders. It's another tongue twister. Um, to go off during the day so that you don't get used to them and so that you can remember to do reality checks. And alongside that, if you see anything unusual, Okay, you need to build this habit, this um, this this routine, if you like, of every time you see something unusual, do a reality check, and you'll be surprised actually how many times, if you, like as you go through your day, uh, especially if you walk through town or something, almost every day, unless you live in a really boring town or city, 
almost every day you're going to walk through the town and see something that is outside of the ordinary, something that's unusual, you know, whether it's, you know, like a particular type of car, like maybe a supercar drives down the road. You don't see that every day unless you live in Beverly Hills or something like that. Um, maybe a supercar drives down the road and, you know, you look at it, everyone stops and stares. That's a good time to do a reality check. Or maybe you're walking along and somebody, I don't know, somebody's singing a weird song in order to get attention in public or there's some sort of weird mascot guy dressed up as a bee or whatever it is, right? It doesn't matter. Every time there's something unusual, do a reality check and be really mindful when you do it. Don't just go through the motions. A lot of people, when uh, when they do reality checks, they just go through the motions. They just think, oh, well, I've got to do a reality check now. I've, you know, trying to do this whole lucid dreaming thing. Some guy says that I should do a reality check, so I'm gonna do it. But I'm not really, I don't really care. Like, I'm not really bothered. You know, I just wanna focus on uh, the ice cream I'm gonna buy in a second. And I know it's a bad thing to, uh, to eat ice cream on a Tuesday afternoon, but you know, that's just what I wanna do. I'm about that life. So mo a lot of people don't put enough mindfulness into their reality checks, okay? They, and what I mean by that is they don't really focus on what they're doing. They don't expect the action to happen. So I've spoken before, like a reality check is obviously a combination of an expectation. So you expect, for example, your finger to go through your palm, right? Uh, and a question. The question is only, you, you should only ask the question, the critical question, are you dreaming after you've done the action, right? In this case, push, trying to push your finger through your palm. That's the action. And then after that, you ask the question. But most people don't do that. They just sort of half asked, look at their hands and they think, oh, am I dreaming? No, probably not. And then they go about their day. You should really be spending at least 20 to 30 seconds doing a reality check. And to be honest, if you think that's if you think that's too long, then you obviously don't want to lose a dream enough. But that's in my experience, that's roughly the amount of time you should be spending on a reality check. That's how long it will take to, to make it really effective, to really be mindful and present in the moment and to not just have it as like a fleeting, just a thought, you know, like, am I dreaming? No, probably not. And then you carry on with your day. You really need to, you really need to sort of pause whatever mental conversation was going on in your head and stop paying attention to whatever you were doing. Let's say if you were walking or texting, you know, or, you know, you're shopping, looking for something, you need to stop uh, giving your attention to that thing and just for that 20 seconds take your attention and put it entirely on ascertaining whether you're awake or dreaming and if you do that like how long has this video been it's been about eight minutes if you if you've actually watched this video and you do follow that advice I guarantee you you'll have more lucid dreams as a result I know it's a bit of a rambling answer but that is to be, to be honest with you guys that's probably the most effective reality check uh, video or tip that I could give you for reality checks. You know, I, there's there, there are loads of videos about reality checks, loads of articles and things like this, but in my experience, I've had, you know, several years of experience and I've, I've coached quite a few people, I've helped lots of people through my websites and channels and whatever. That that seems to be the most, thing, the most important thing people miss, right? They either don't do enough reality checks or they just don't attach them to the right things. They don't have them, uh, they don't do them randomly very important. They don't do them when they see something unusual, very important. And when they do them, when they actually do the reality checks, most people uh, aren't mindful enough. They don't actually do the reality check properly. They just sort of, they they do it so they can just check it off the uh, off the list, you know, add a notch to the, the reality check tally for the day, but they're not actually doing it properly. And in, in my opinion, if you're not going to do it properly, there's no point doing it at all because you're essentially wasting your time. You know, unless you're unless you're completely 100% mindful during the reality check, it isn't gonna work. And so you're literally just doing it for no reason. Anyway, a bit of a serious tone to that video. I think I've had way too much coffee today. Um, anyway, leave a like, leave a, subs <laughs> leave a subscribe, and uh, I'll see you next time.